Hi, I'm Mary Jo Caston. I'm one of the physicians at Mayo in both the Division of General Internal Medicine and Infectious Disease. And my co-author, Dr. Mary Burgess, and I uh, recently wrote an article that will be published in the Mayo Clinic Proceedings um, titled, Human Immunodeficiency Virus, What Primary Clinicians Need to Know. We were really motivated to write this article to help raise awareness among primary care clinicians about the important role they have in 2013 in the HIV epidemic. What I really mean by this is that primary care clinicians are the main people who are going to be diagnosing patients with HIV infection, both chronic and acute infection, and they need to be aware of how patients present. Many physicians know that the USPTF has now recommended that HIV screening be incorporated into routine primary care. So this means when you're seeing a patient and thinking about their annual mammogram, you should also be thinking about, have they ever been tested for HIV? And even if they don't seem to be at risk for HIV, um, all adults between the ages of 18 and 65 should be tested. The HIV Medicine Association, along with the American Society of Geriatrics, recommends that all healthy adults over 65 also receive an HIV test. The reason for this is that most patients won't divulge to their caregiver that they're at risk for HIV. So we can't really rely on a patient's history to decide who should be screened, and we need to be screening everyone. This is one of the most important roles that primary caregivers play. We still haven't diagnosed about one-fifth of the people in the U.S. who have HIV with HIV, and most of these people do see medical doctors on some erratic basis. And if every time we come into contact with a patient, we can think about, have they had their HIV screening and do it if they haven't, we can really make an impact, I think, on the epidemic in the U.S. Primary caregivers also have other important roles to play. We, we know that HIV isn't the same disease that it was 20 years ago. When I started taking care of patients, most of my patients ended up dying from AIDS. Now, most of my patients do really well. And there's nice studies showing that if we get people on treatment before they have profound immunologic um, problems, that we can often restore their immune system to near normal. We can suppress their viral load and get rid of that chronic inflammation. And these people can have very normal lifespans. That doesn't mean they don't have um, illnesses as they get older. They do, and this is where primary caregivers, again, can really play an important role. Primary care clinicians know a lot more about preventing and treating osteoporosis, diabetes, cardiovascular disease than HIV experts. And so in partnering with the HIV expert, primary care clinicians can really make a big impact on these patients' lives. So in summary, I'm hoping that a lot of primary care clinicians will read this article, will hopefully um, learn something from it, and realize that they have an important um, role to play, not just in diagnosing patients, but also in taking care of uh, HIV patients over the rest of their lives. Thanks very much for listening. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our home page is www.mayocliniceproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.com. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.